Imagine combining the simplicity of Excel with the power of Python. Sounds exciting, right? You must be wondering if it requires a lot of coding. What if I tell you that with almost negligible coding, with Python in Excel lets you perform the advanced data analysis. You don't need to be a coder or a developer to use it. With Python in Excel, you can analyze large datasets, create stunning visualizations with libraries like Matplotlib, and even automate tasks like report generation, all within Excel's familiar interface. It's a game changer for anyone looking to work smarter and faster with data, no matter their coding experience. In this video, I'll show you some amazing things you can do with Python and Excel. From creating data frames to filtering data with the simple queries, it's packed with features that make your work easier. But before we dive in, let's take a quick look at what Python and Excel is all about. Python and Excel is a feature in Microsoft Excel that integrates Python directly into the Excel environment, allowing users to write Python code and execute it within Excel Sheets. This integration combines Python's powerful data analysis, visualization, and automation capabilities with Excel's familiar interface. Now that we know what Python is in Excel, let's explore how we can use it. So, I am inside Excel and you must be looking for Python over here. So, basically, you can go to this formula section and see insert Python option available over here. You can get started just by clicking on the icon or you can just click one cell and you can write equal to py and then press tab. Now, the Python mode is activated. So, as we are working with data, the first step is to send the data to that Python because it needs to see it so that it can actually work with it. To do that, you need to select the whole data set. For that, I'll select this. And now you can see over this section that it is written the data range, I mean the cells range and headers is equal to true as we have headers over here. Now, press enter. Now you can see that it didn't happen anything, only it went to the next line. For me to run this, we need to press Control plus Enter. Control plus Enter. And see what we got. We got a data frame over here. If not aware, data frame is a two-dimensional tabular data structure in Python provided by the Pandas library. It is similar to an Excel spreadsheet or an SQL table consisting of the rows and the columns. Now, take a look at beside the formula button here. This is actually the Python object and even we have a drop down over here. So it is written Python output and we have a Python object that is the present form and the Excel value. Now, I can switch to this Excel value and we'll get my whole data available over here. This is basically dates. So we have imported this data set over here. Now, as it is taking too much space, I can go back to the Python object and make it compact. But before that, to unlock your career in data analytics, we simply learn data analyst certification course. This comprehensive program in collaboration with IBM covers everything from SQL, Python, and R to data visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI. You will work on real-world projects and attain live sessions with industry experts and earn certification from both Simply Learn and IBM. Start your journey with hands-on learning, master the latest tools, and boost your career with industry-recognized credentials. Enroll now and take the first step towards becoming a skilled data analyst. Check for the course link in the description box below and pin comments. Now, if you're interested in knowing what's inside this data frame, you particularly click on this image and there will be a visualization appearing for you. The first five sets over here and the last five data sets over here. It is basically the beginning and the last part of the whole data set. This data frame is a fundamental part of a specific Python library that's called the Pandas. Pandas is like your go-to toolkit in Python for working with data. It makes the handling tables like spreadsheets or databases like this super easy with this data frame structure. 
So whether you're cleaning the messy data or analyzing trends or margin data sets, Pandas has covered everything. Plus, it works great with the libraries like NumPy and Matplotlib. So you can explore and visualize data effortlessly. So better you can go and research about it. I will talk about this later. But guys, now I'll tell you what all cool things you can do with this. Now, I'll go to another cell, then switch to Python mode, PY and tab, and then take the reference of this previous data frame, and I'll write dot describe open and close parenthesis and then control plus enter see i got another data frame back so as i got a new data frame i'll switch to this excel mode value and let's see it's a date so we have some information so the total count of Quantity we have is 20, the mean is 23.7 and the sales mean is also 1687.6. Minimum is this and everything we have got. Now, we'll move to Python object. It basically gives a quick insight of the data set. Now, it must be planning to perform various calculations using this data set. So it's better we give it a name so that you don't have to reference to the cell again and again. For that, you need to go and select the first data frame and then write in the formula bar here. Just type the name given to it. I will give it as DF, which represents the data frame before everything and then um, you can press Control Enter. So I have already defined a name to this. So every time I don't need to take a reference of this data frame. Now, now basically we can now go and write df dot describe control enter now nothing has changed now let's talk about the shortcut keys like the quotations now suppose if i go to this excel value and I want my product details over here. So for that, I would go here. df.product.describe and control enter. Now you can see that the total product count is 20. The unit products we have is 8 and the top selling product is headphones and the frequency of that headphones are 5. Now keep one thing on mind that now my value for this header is just product. If I would be having like product details like having spaces and everything, I can't write product over here. I need that third bracket on and third bracket off. So keep that in mind. Unless you don't have a space in your header name, you can type like this. You can write df.product.describe. Now there are lots of functionalities in Py, I repeat. Now there are various functionalities in the pandas library. Some of them that all are familiar with is a sum and average. So let's suppose I want the total sales over here. So I'll shift to this Python mode. And I'll write df dot sales dot sum and open and close parenthesis. Then I press control enter for running it. And you can see the total sales has come. In a similar way, you can even get the average. You just have to replace this sum method with mean. And then control plus enter. And now you can see the average value of the sales. So you must be thinking right now that this can be done with Excel functions as well. So why do we need Python? 
Don't worry, I have got you covered. So let's take this tutorial a little forward. Let's think we want a total sales for each date available over here. Then for this I'll switch to a different cell and I will activate this Python mode and then type df that is this data frame initially we have dot group by this is a function in Excel then open parenthesis and will write date then close parenthesis dot sales dot sum just like the previous one we made and then control plus enter and I want an excel view of this whole series so let's see this may be loading and you can see the date over here and the corresponding sales it works so wonderfully that you can do data filtering and data analysis in just a few seconds so now i want everything on a monthly basis so for that i'll do i'll get inside this group by and i'll write pd dot dot grouper first bracket on and we'll write key equal to date comma frequency equal to m and close parenthesis and control enter so it has basically given c for february for march for april may and in this way you can get the whole monthly wise sales now i want to give this a name as chart type as and i will press enter now i will write chart dot plot x equal to date comma y equal to sales comma kind equal to line and i will close this parenthesis now press control enter and you will get a very little chart over here have to wait for some time and you can see a great thing very interesting one over here now i'll show something more cooler than this so i'll select one cell over here now i will select something over here equal to python and tab and then i'm using pd dot melt start the first parenthesis df that is the first data frame comma id verse that is equal to date comma product close the third bracket then comma value verse equal to third bracket open quantity comma sales and control enter and we'll see something amazing we'll go to this excel view and we can see the date product variable and we have actually merged the quantity and the sales and this is basically the date so with this you can do very amazing things in excel using python so there are much more than this so guys that's a wrap up i hope you have liked this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the bell icon for more updates like this i'll see you in the next video till then keep learning with simply learn thank you for watching 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.